Are you ready for some good news? When you hear Jesus speak, really speak, shame falls to the ground. John 8 tells the story of a woman caught in the act of adultery, sentenced by the Pharisees to be stoned to death. And the irony of this story is that both the Pharisees and the woman are living their lives in shame. See, shame can make you pursue something that seems very good or something that seems very bad. The Pharisees, everybody applauded, but they were full of shame because they tried to fulfill every letter of the law to deal with their shame. The woman's shame led her to seek love in the wrong places, perhaps. So the Pharisees, the shamed ones, grabbed hold of this woman to trap her in shame. And don't you just love what happened next? Jesus bent down and started to write on the ground. We don't know what he was writing, but I think it had to do with the Pharisees' own sins. I don't, know. I don't think Jesus even looked up as he wrote. I think he just listened as the Pharisees dropped their stones on the ground and shuffled away. And then he stood, no doubt wanted to look the woman in the eyes. Where are your accusers? Jesus asked. Has no one condemned you? Neither do I condemn you. And that's the healing moment. Jesus had the woman's undivided attention. She wasn't listening to what any other man had said. There with her accusers gone, for once in her life, she couldn't hear the shame. And she was listening to her Savior. The cross of Jesus Christ silences the accuser's voice. Because Jesus has taken your sin, hell has no accusation left against you. That's why when you listen to Jesus' voice, shame falls to the ground. When you listen to Jesus' voice, you're free. And that's the gospel. That's today's good news, and you get more like it by clicking right here. Better yet, subscribe. Start out every day with the good news of the gospel.